Alright, what is up everyone? Better late than never. So in this video, I'm gonna tell you all the updates that is in Genshin Impacts 1.1. So the first thing you'll see is the new star approaches It's basically the main quest and you see the city reputation which I'll talk about later but if you go into all your mail and stuff you're gonna see all the goodies you know claim all that primo gems and shit you know it's gonna be great then if you look into the notices you'll see some of the updates and uh, the big update here is Tartagalia basically the hydro DPS character which uh, in all honesty I got him but I didn't really like him but anyways yeah have a short watch of the video and we'll continue from that kingdom came a crowned heir tasked with seeking out the Genesis Pearl from the kingdom of darkness the first crowned heir began her journey of seeking the pearl but she was deceived and the memory of her noble origins faded. She now believed that she was the queen of the kingdom of darkness. But take heart. A second crowned heir had already taken up the path where the first had stumbled. This is the story of your journey. Of your tale to be told. Yeah, so basically the cutscene is not all that unique, so it starts every time you have a new battle pass system. Um, uh, you know what you're getting into, I'm a free to play player, so I uh, don't really care about it that much. But if you look into the uh, mail, you see all these good little goodies, so remember to take all the C's the day logins, but the good thing about this one is they give you a free Barbara. Yeah, just take that Barbara, just keep that Barbara. Mm -hmm. Then the next one is the test run. You can try all the new characters that's included, uh, which is pretty good. I mean, just give them a go, right? It's pretty straightforward. You guys know what you need to do. Okay, so the next new thing is actually the reputation system. So if you go into Liyue and just follow the path here, to see that little triangle thing there, the civil affairs lady, just go hop on over there and uh, she'll give you like uh, some quests which you can use the points you gain from all the quests to improve your reputation in let's say leeway so just hop on over and talk to miss you here she'll go on and on about stupid shit about needing your help and shit so you just you, you, you just go through it then you'll come up to a page will show you all the reputation and stuff so you can see like there's a lot of uncollected points we just claim all of them okay the next one there's a button to claim all of them it makes it more simple just claim all of them okay you can see the reputation level rise which you can use to trade for other goodies yes look at it it rised so you can't do the uh, the request yet because you haven't finished the new star approaches, which is the main quest. So you can use the points, just claim all the goodies. Just claim them. So Monstad has one, and Liyue has one. Just, just claim it. It's fine. It's perfectly free. Okay, another new feature is actually if you talk to some of the blacksmith, actually no, you talk to all of the blacksmith, and they can show you where to get specific crystals. Let's say you want the green ones, you can just talk to them. Let's say you talk to Master Zhang, you know, just ask them about the mining products, and uh, yeah, he will mark it on your map, so if you're ever low on the green or blue crystals, you just ask them and they'll just... Uh, display on the map you know it's quite convenient you can see there it's all over there okay so the next one you can just head over to Mondstadt and just follow me to see the lady 
so the lady's gonna give you some reputation as well. <laughs> Go down there, down through the stairs, and you can see her, that triangle bitch. <laughs> Yeah, so you go on ahead and talk to Triangle Bitch there, you know, it's gonna be the same thing as Lee Wei, he will, she would say, talk about a bunch of stuff about, you know, needing help in Mondstadt and all, and you're like the only person, the only functional citizen in society that is able to help, you know, it's, it's kind of typical. So you can see it's the same thing, you need a specific reputation level, just go down there to this, the, and just claim everything you can. Just just take all the points you can. You know, you can check out all the goodies you want. But first thing you gotta do is to collect the points. Collect the points. Collect the points. You yeah, collect all the stupid points. I'm collecting these one by one because the sound it makes gives me a dopamine rush. Because I'm depressed and this is the only thing that makes me happy. Okay, so once you're done with that, you can just go on the, the accepted quest. You can check out all the quests. They're quite straightforward. Basically, fetch quests. Just get the items they want, look for them. And then, uh, yeah, it's very simple. I'll show you later. You just need to find the person that you need. Okay. Yeah, so let's go for Helen's special plan. Let's find that dumb bitch. I'm pretty sure Helen's like the the weird bard that's always on the balcony. Let's go look for her. She's like a worthless part because she doesn't sing at all. So yeah, just basically look for her. They'll, they'll tell you about what they want, you know. Just click on it and there you go. Give them the shitty flowers. You know, just give them. And then, uh, boom! You're done. You're done with the quest. Very straightforward. Now if you go back to Triangle Hernia, you know, there's another quest you can do, which is the bounties. So, uh, bounties are basically, um, you just go to a specific part, part of the map, you know. And then, uh, you just, uh, use your vision and shit, find clues, and then kill the monsters. It's basically like that. But something to note is you, and actually take the same quests over and over. So you can take the, the hardest quest, the one with a hundred how do you say the hundred points just keep doing that you know finish finish it kill the monster come back do the quests again you know it's much better okay so remember all the goodies you collected now it's time to put it to good use like a lot of people don't actually know where to find them like if you go to the alchemy table these things aren't actually displayed in your inventory or if you go to the table you can't find it like so you have to search for it press B and just learn all of the recipes you can't find them. you can't find them inside the, the crafting table yeah, so you can't find them. Just go B, go to your inventory, you can see all of the new stuff. Just press use. Yeah, use them. Use those bitches. Yeah, use them. Oh yeah, use them. Yeah, so one oh yeah, so one thing you can make that is actually quite useful is the um what do you call it? You know, the condensed resin. So the condensed resin is basically you put in uh, 40 of your own resin into the crafting table and it condenses it to this crystal here you can do it in the crafting table what it does is basically if you have any spare resin you can just use it you know just convert it to condensed resin you can save it for another time and it's great if you let's say you want 
uh, an artifact and then you want to increase the rarity if you use condensed resin it actually it gives you a higher chance of getting a five star and i tried it before it's great maybe i can make another video video of it but uh, yeah i mean uh, if you have if you do have any spare resin that you don't have anything to farm on that particular day just save it up you know but you can only have a maximum of three condensed resin the next one is the geolocus resonance stone which is which can be used to find you know the geolocuses you know it's leo is quite large and if you have this it makes it so simple i'll show you later how it works it's great So there's the Geo Locus and there's also the Animal Locus. It does the same thing, but this one just looks for the animal. You know? But do note that if you want to use the gadget, you could just you have to equip it. You gotta equip it, alright? You gotta equip it. Alright, so the next gadget is like a wind jar sort of thing. It's called the wind catcher. Basically, if you if you notice the glowing sprites all around Mondstadt, what you have to do is actually catch them and store them in the wind catcher. So these are all the ingredients you need to make them. Go to the blacksmith, forge it, and uh, yeah. So it will start off empty. You still have to equip it. Okay. And you have to go find the wind sprites. Go find the wind sprites, alright? Okay, here I'm gonna show you uh, how to use the wind catcher. Well, go there, collect them sprites. You can have a maximum of five. Once you collected them, press Z. And there you go. You got a portable wind tunnel. You know, flow around. You know, jerk off. Whatever. You float your boat. You know, float your wings. So you can see the cooldown is around 80, 80, 90 seconds after you use it, and you can always refill it. So, yeah. Uh, Alright guys, thanks for watching. I hope that was informative for you. So if you want me to do any videos, just let me know. And uh, yeah, please watch and subscribe. Thank you.